Alrighty, it is 12.57 p.m. Friday afternoon, June 28th, 2019. In two and three quarter miles, turn left on Huntington Street. I have uh, just left. I'm on the way for the uh, first of four fireworks shows I'll be working on uh, this 4th of July weekend. Uh, I'm working today, July, uh, June 28th, in uh, Ridgefield for the Fireman's Carnival. Tomorrow, June 29th, Saturday, I'm working on the show in Milford, Connecticut. Um, Wednesday, in Darien for Woodway Country Club. And then on July 4th, I'll be on the Town of Ridgefield show at the high school. So those are the four shows that I'm working on uh, over this uh, 4th of July uh, week. Uh, a little less than I used to do. I used to do seven, eight, nine straight days in a row. Uh, I can't. I, uh, not at my age. I cannot do that anymore. So, I'm doing uh, two shows this weekend, then I have a couple of day break, and then I'll do two shows on the 3rd and the 4th. And then I'll have a couple of days to recuperate uh, before I go back to my real jobs. So, <laughs> uh, very busy uh, week coming up. Uh, I'll be trying to make videos as much as I can. Um, taking some photos for my Facebook, taking videos for my Facebook maybe try to get these uploaded on YouTube I know all my YouTube fans been asking you know where are my videos where are my videos uh, I've cut way back on shows and uh, to be honest with you I just really don't have the time to sit there and do all the editing with all the videos for YouTube the way I used to um, I'm getting older my life has changed <laughs> uh, but I am still doing shows not as many as I used to back in my younger day I have, like I said, cut back. I'm not doing 35, 40 shows a year. Now I'm doing about 15 shows a year. So I've cut way back from what I used to, but I am still a pyrotechnician, still shooting shows, especially around the 4th of July. But of course, you know, we do the carnivals, baseball games, and what have you throughout the year. All right, stay tuned. On the way to uh, East Ridge Middle School in the town of Ridgefield, Connecticut for the Ridgefield Volunteer Firemen's Carnival. Fireworks show scheduled for tonight. Stay tuned for more. And we are arriving. And I have arrived first on site. Okay, well, Ed has arrived. So there's two of us here. And we're just waiting for Kevin to show up with the truck, the equipment, the product. And we should have a couple more people coming. I know my wife's coming when she gets out of work tonight. Alrighty, Kevin has just shown up with the truck. He has the equipment and product on there. Alrighty, time to go to work. We have Ed in the truck. Nice brand new truck Kevin's got here. Nice working lift gate. Right now it's just the four of us. Kevin, Ed, me, and new Chris. That's what we got to call you, new Chris, because we, we have so many Chris's now. <laughs> All right, let's get to work. I'm not going to be able to film much because right now we're short staffed. I'll film what I can. All right, so far we have the opening and the finale. Those are all two and a half. 
And we have threes and fours for the body of the show. As you can see, I'm cleaning out the mortars. We got everything laid out. Still got to nail everything together. Okay, we're in the process of building, all hands working. Joe is here now. My wife Christine is here now. So, we're starting to make good progress. almost finished building the uh, body of the show the finale uh, they're already starting to load it Chris and Kevin Jeff and new Chris is working on the two and a half me and Joe on the threes and Ed all by himself on the fours we'll start loading this as soon as we're done building Kevin and Christine continue to work on the finale with me right now. And once we get all these shells loaded, we just have to tuck. Tuck and band the fuses. Ready to set up. Ready for the show. Okay, we are just about all done. Uh, the finale is all fused together, wired. They have the panel out in the field. Yeah. We 
have Ed making the final connections for the cakes. Here's our opening. So the cakes, and like I said, the cakes and the finale are electrically fired. Kevin will be at the controls. We're going to do a continuity text. So they give everybody a heads up not to go near the finale. Anyway, uh, and then everything else obviously is hand fired. Here's the opening. And then two and a half, three inch, and four inch all manually fired. So, with that said, my camera, I'll have two cameras on this show, um, ground view and sky view. This video obviously is ground view. I will have a separate sky view camera specifically for the show. Uh, that will be up on my Facebook and uh, I'll try to get them up on YouTube this year. It's been a couple of years I haven't been posting to YouTube, only my Facebook. Um, anybody out there that wants to see all my still photos, uh, if you're out on YouTube and you want to see my still photos, you can check out my Facebook page. Uh, you can find it the same address as my YouTube page, DR Firebird 64. You can't miss me. <laughs> my page is Fireworks and Bowling. That's it. I'm very easy to find. So everyone in YouTube land, like I said, you want to see the still photos. I have tens of thousands of still photos, you know, the pictures uh, from many, many years I've been doing this. Um, again, you can check out my Facebook page. Friend me if you like. Just send me a message. Let me know who you are. Uh, say you're a YouTube fan or a Fireworks fan. Let me know who you are, and I will accept your friendship on my Facebook page. And uh, like I said, you can check out tens of thousands of photos at uh, DR Firebird 64. All right, let me uh, set these cameras up while it's still light for our ground view. And let me go get the sky view camera and get everything set up. Okay, well, that looks like... I'm going to get the best view. The only thing you're not going to see in the very beginning is the opening. Uh, the opening's off to the side over there. Uh, but this will get the uh, main body of the show. And um, you can see the two and a halfs, the threes, and the fours. Uh, the two and a halfs and threes, we're going to be walking right down the middle. The fours will be on the outside, which you can also see. On the, on the farther side and then of course once I'm done just as the finale is going up then I run over to the tripod and I will just do that so you will see the finale going up so that's going to be our ground view like I said the only thing you're not really going to see is the opening I, I, I would have to move the camera way too far back uh, to get the opening and you would just you, you would lose the effect of uh, the rest of the show here so that's uh, that's going to be the ground view for tonight. All right, we're just a few minutes away from showtime. I'm going to start out with the first rack of shells. Ed's going to be on threes. I'm going to be on two and a half starting out. After my first rack, I'm going to let Chris light three pods or three racks. After his three, he'll hand our flare back to me. And then I will continue and finish up. When I'm out of two and a half, so I move to any threes that are left. Ed will move over to fours. When I'm out of threes, I'll move over and finish up with Ed on the fours.
There you go. Man, I'm winded. Stand by. We gotta let this stuff cool down. Okay. We have begun the teardown. Show is over. And we're beginning the teardown. Stay tuned. All right, we are making good timing here. It's about 11.15 p.m. Uh, we have all the uh, three inch racks and four inch racks loaded already in the truck. Kevin's moving the truck. We just need to pick up all the two and a halves and then a the little bit of trash and strapping and we'll be done. So we're making great timing here. All right, we are getting there. We're picking up just the last of the uh, garbage right over there. And I gotta get my table and the rest of my gear down there and we'll be out of here. All right. This one's too tall. They're putting the blocking and the load bars up. All the garbage is picked up, and the field is cleaned up and empty, as you can see. I just got to go get the rest of my personal gear, and we're out of here. Okay, we are leaving. My wife is driving the vehicle I came up with, our van, with all the equipment. She came up here straight from work today. In, uh, in my car, I had the van. All right, hon, I'll follow you. Uh, so now I'm back in my four-wheeler here. I said we would be out of here around midnight and look at that 12.09 a.m. it is now Saturday morning we have to be at the next show in Milford Connecticut in less than 12 hours all right I am leaving Ridgefield Middle School. Show is over. And until tomorrow around noontime from Milford, 
I will say thank you for watching our show tonight. And from Ridgefield, Connecticut, good night.